Welcome back to part three, Rugby M. I've just got to tell you now, we have got a kids camp coming up for October half term. If you want to get rid of the kids for two days, October 20, 27th, 28th. That's right. Right, you can sign them up at Alton Raiders. We're doing a two day camp and it's going to be phenomenal. It's got some great players coming down to give some coaching and fully licensed, full professional coaches to look after the kids. It's all safe and sound. And they'll feature on Rugby M as well, Jonesy. Certainly will. Any kids out there want to get on television, learn some skills from some professionals that are, we're always in contact with, yep. get on our website, book yourself a place and get down and check it out. Yeah, check it out at rugbym.co.uk forward slash camps and you can book your children aged 6 to 12 on with us. Right now we're going back over to Bradford and Wakefield. Bradford won the million pounds on Rugby M, but who will win it in the real game, Jonesy? Give us your prediction. I'm going to give you one. I think it's going to be really tight. For both reasons, you're going to find out in this next little segment why both of them are up for it, and uh, it's a special event for both teams. Yeah, check out these boys talking all about this special day. You've won one million, thanks to Rugby M and Monopoly. Yeah, thanks to Rugby M and Monopoly. Now, uh, next week, million pound game. Yep. Fantastic win against Lee. How good did it feel to win away at Lee? After obviously the season that's been and you know, two horse race all the way. Come to Lee last week, everyone on the line, the team pulled through after a couple of tricky results like Wakefield away, and you've really come through. How gratifying was that as a coach? It was, it was good on the back of the, the two games we got out. You know, we got well beaten with yeah. Missing Old Kingston Rovers, and, and to turn that around and to go to Lee, who uh, finished top of, the, top of the championship, and deservedly so. Um, to go there and beat them, I thought it was, uh, a, 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 yeah, it was a great effort from ourselves. Um, so yeah, we was well pleased with that, but it's just put us in a position to challenge for something. You know, it's not actually yeah. achieved out yet. Looking at this board, there's plenty of pictures of yourself on here, Robbie and Henry, some great players, and you obviously know what it means to Bradford about competing at the highest level and being a club, putting the club back where they really belong in a lot of the hearts and minds of the fans. Next week, million pound game. Firstly, do you like the concept? Are you a fan of it? No. No? No. You think it's too much on one game? Well, I'm just not here. Yeah. We can go into too much detail with all this, but you know, you play a season and, and uh, um, to win something that's based on uh, your, your season performances, I don't think it's right. Yeah. Um, so I, I've got a lot of views on, on, on that generally, you know, yeah. just in Super League as well. You know, I think yeah, I think we play. You play, however many games, twenty odd games, and, and you finish top. Then you're the champion because you've been yeah. the most consistent side throughout that year. The likelihood is you're probably going away to Wakefield. Yep. Uh, with them playing Sheffield this week, um, didn't have a great trip there recently. Yeah. yeah. How do you turn that around? Is that just a we owe him one kind of thing, or that game means nothing now, or is that? It doesn't. No, it, it does. It means something because I, I, we approached that game in quite a confident manner. Yeah. Um, but we've got to focus on a game that was played uh, probably. God, what was the year? It would have been now, 18, 1989. What's games that? Honestly, it went to Wakefield in the pre-season cup and we won. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm going to show up some old footage of that. Did you play in that game? I did. Yeah. Whether <laughs> <laughs> well, the great Honslet side, one or two great players in that side, so. Um, no, no, it's it's a it's a really good place to go and play rugby. You know, one of the old type stadiums, um, and like I say, you know, we're going to talk about the game that we played there a few weeks ago because I think it's important to do that. And, and, and we addressed it straight away after the game and what we thought would ha had happened and why it happened. But just going you know, to reinforce that, and again, not to put pressure on them, but just just to you know, hopefully. See what uh, see some of the good stuff that did come out of that game as well as as well as some pretty average stuff. Down at Old Sill, um, the Friends Providence Stadium, as we have to call it when we're on the pitch. Providence Stadium, Providence yeah. Stadium. Um, now, million pound game from your perspective, Chief Exec. Um, what would it mean for the club to get back up into Super League for next season? Well, it's it's obvious that it's great, and not not only for the club, for the supporters, the players. Um, but you know, likewise, Wakefield will be feeling exactly the same. That you know, they want to retain their position, and uh, we know it's not going to be an easy task. Uh, being involved at Wakefield over the years, and um, was involved in the game when Castleford played Wakefield, you know, which were classed as a million-pound game then, and uh, Wakefield came out on top. So they know what it's all about. They, they know that they need to fight, and they will fight. Um, it's an intimidating place to go, but again, I think you know, I think the boys will be up for it. Yeah, the squad seem really together under Jimmy Laws. 
Uh, what's he brought to the club? Well, he brought a bit of Jimmy. Um, you know, Jimmy is a player, Jimmy is a character. Um, and that's what we wanted and that's what we needed when Jimmy came on board and I, I think he's provided a bit of that and, and, and the players have followed suit. Mate, million pound game next week. How nervous are you? How nervous is the club? I wouldn't say nervous, I'd say it's more excite excitement than, than nerves. Obviously, it's, uh, there's a huge, huge amount at stake. Um, it's, it's a chance to stay in Super League where we believe that we belong. Um, you know, this week's really big as well, trying to get that home home tie and hopefully we'll be at home in the million pound game. But yeah, it's, there are a little bit of nerves personally, but you know, it's it's also twinged with excitement as well. So looking towards this million pound game, who do you think where do you think the, the key battles are gonna be? On the field? Well everyone's gotta be <laughs> Everyone's got to be on the game, I think. Yeah. I think that um, Nine, seven. the middle is going to be a massive. Yeah. Whoever, whoever wins the battle of the middles is going to be uh, in control of the game. And obviously, we want to play Wakefield at their strongest, with their strongest team. But obviously, they've got difficulties of. Oh. Yes! Oh. Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> yes! Good no, game, lad. Good game. Champ. Well done. But, but as I was saying, um, yeah. we want to play Wakefield as the, at the strongest, so if we can do that and then still perform, it, I think it shows that we deserve to be in Super League and that's what we want to be next year. And, as, in, and looking into next season, we'll take, hypothetically you get there, is the club ready to compete and be aimed to get in that top eight? Bra or Bradford you, Club. Yeah, Bradford Club. Yeah, yeah I think... Um, it's a very, very professional club and I just think it is a Super League club, so yeah. I think that's where we deserve to be. If we can just, um, I don't know, just put everyone, put everything on the line at this weekend, get into the Super League, win the win the pound game, we deserve to be in Super League. Right, we've played Who Wants To Be Millionaire with, uh, with Jimmy Laws today. Mark, you've been a very successful businessman. I don't know if you're a millionaire, I would have guessed you, you're there or thereabouts, maybe a couple, but... Um, <laughs> How would it feel to bring a million pounds through the RFL to the club by winning that million pound game? Um, it's uh, the next eight days or nine days are certainly going to be a bit nerve wracking, and um, obviously the most important thing for us would be come five o'clock uh, Saturday week confirming our position as a Super League team. But we've got a massive hurdle to get over. Wait for the. You know, not going to just sit down there and lay down and roll over and, and, and let us have it. Uh, we've got to earn the right to have it. We've earned the right to get to where we are this season. We've earned the right to be in that million pound game. But that doesn't mean that, that mean we're there. We, we've, got a, we've got a tall order come Saturday week and with a bit of luck and a following wind, um, we'll, we'll get the result. But if we don't, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to lick our wounds and go again next year. Scroops, million pound game next week going back to Bradford as well. Mm. It couldn't have been written any different because I reckon it's going to be Nick Scruton winning try for Wakefield or Matty Ryan winning try for Bradford. <laughs> it's, it's written, isn't it? It's written in the rugby gods. Yeah, hopefully the first, like. But, uh, yeah, there's a few little mini plots in the game, isn't there? There yeah. usually is, like, people move around. But, yeah, extra special for me. So, yeah, it'd be nice to, nice to sneak over for one. Um, the Million Pound game is a concept. Obviously, it is everything on the line for one club. Mm. For Bradford, it's kind of a shot because they're, they're not losing status, they're only gaining. But for Wakefield, obviously, could lose the Super League status. And what kind of effect could that on, have on the club and the support for the, for the future? Um, well, it's not done Bradford any harm. Yeah. You know, going down last year, I think they're, it, it's nice to watch a winning side. They've been winning and the, the fans have come back a bit. But obviously, everyone wants to be playing in Super League. Um, that's the aim for everybody. So yeah, the, I'm not sure what repercussions that for Wakefield as a club. Whether it'd be maybe start again from the bottom. Hopefully we don't go down. Like, but as a personal, as a personal thing, I, I don't think they've really looked into that side of it. You know, if if we go down, then everybody's contracts get ripped up. I understand relegation happens in every other sport. Is that what happens? Yeah, our, our contracts are Super League only. So wow. I think it's there's nobody in his team who's got a contract that's. Um, regardless of which which league you're in, so if we go down, people's contracts are ripped up, and That's then it. what do you do? Yeah, so 
So I don't think it's it's brilliant for the fans and like I said, it, there's some real excitement and I'm I'm still looking forward to it. You know, it's a big game that I'm looking forward to. But sleepless nights at home. Yeah, massive for yeah, me yeah, and, and and the, and people's families. Uh, and I'm getting violin going a little bit, <laughs> but it's. Um, <laughs> That's how it it's is. It's true, it's true. Yeah. It is a fact and it's something to talk about. we just got to win. That's, yeah. that's how it is. Um, and that's how everybody at Wakefield feels. You've got to take the positive. You've beat them recently. Mm. Um, you know them inside out as a club. It's, it's a local derby. Mm. It's going to be a great, great atmosphere down here. Mm. Um, can the fans be that extra 14th man to get you over the line? Yeah, I hope so. Um, because I know Bradford's will be. Yeah. You know, they come out and they get the drums exactly. banging <laughs> and yeah, they're, they're pretty good, but um, we're only a small ground and the Wakefield fans make a racket when they come here so yeah, hopefully they turn out and um, hopefully they'll be cheering something decent from us.